guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I want to discuss with you guys my thoughts and opinions on what would happen if Ty returns in Heartland Season 17, and honestly, how I think that if Grand Mortal was to return in Heartland Season 17, I honestly think you would ruin the show. And I'm going to explain all of why I think that in today's video. However, before I continue, I need to remind you guys to please leave a like on the video if you enjoy and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for daily Heartland videos and season 17 updates. We are trying to hit 40,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel in the next 12 months. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And also, I want to see if it's possible to get 100 likes on this video. Is that possible? I don't know, that's up to you guys, but I would really, really appreciate if we could get 100 likes on this video. So if you are able to, leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate that. But anyway, let's talk about Ty, Amy, Grand Mortal, and Heartland Season 17, okay? So I am very aware, trust me, I am very aware that a lot of Heartland fans still miss Ty. They're still very upset that Grand Mortal left the show. They blame other cast members for the reasons why Grand Mortal left the show, and they just can't seem to accept that Grand Mortal himself wanted to leave this wanted to leave the show. So I have seen all the arguments online, all the speculation, all the conversation about possible storylines that they could use, that the writers could use to bring back Ty in season 17. Now a few things about that. I think people forget when they're talking about these storylines that the that the reason Ty died in season 14 was not because the writers wanted to kill off Ty to upset the fans, but the reason they had to do that was because Graham Wardle himself asked to leave the show to pursue other projects. So they didn't kill off Ty because they wanted to. They killed off Ty because they had to, because Grey Mortal, the actor who plays Ty, wanted to leave the show. And I think it's important to bring up as well that if you saw the interviews with the producers of Heartland back when season 14 first premiered here in Canada, they posted videos on their YouTube channel discussing uh, Ty's death and why they chose to kill off Ty instead of having a storyline where like say Amy and Ty got divorced or Ty left Amy or Ty cheated on Amy or something like that and if you saw those interviews you'll know that the writers chose to kill off Ty because they didn't want Ty to be an absentee father in Heartland. They didn't want Ty and Amy's uh, love story that was built up and created and developed over so many seasons to just end in like divorce or something like that or you know an, some other storyline like that they wanted to honor Ty's legacy and honor his character and also support Grand Mortal in you know him wanting to leave and pursue other projects which he you know of course, you should support when anyone wants to try new things. But anyway, um, so that is the reason they chose to kill off Ty. They wanted Ty and Amy's story to have an ending. And what better way to end a love story that was developed over 14 seasons than having Ty die protecting Amy? I think people forget that too, you know, that... Ty died because he jumped in front of Amy so that Amy would not get shot. Okay? So he died. The reason for his death, or the cause of his death, was because he got shot trying to save his wife's life. And people are still upset about that for some strange reason. Now, I understand and I've seen the arguments that, oh, they could just write a storyline where, you know, it, it was all a dream. Ty's not actually dead. Let me explain to you guys real quick why that wouldn't work. Heartland is a realistic TV show about a family who lives on a ranch in Alberta. Okay? If they were to do a storyline like that where we find out that the events of season 14 and Ty's death were actually a dream, I think they would have had to do that in season 
honestly, you know, halfway through season 14, maybe season 15. But you want to tell me that a realistic TV show about a family who lives on a ranch in Alberta, the writers of that show that are trying their best to create a realistic show are going to write a storyline three seasons later saying, Surprise, Ty's not actually dead. Nothing that you saw in the past three seasons of Heartland actually happened. Ty's still alive. No, they wouldn't do that. You want to know why? Because that's not realistic. And Heartland's a realistic show. And honestly, if Grand Mortal was to return in season 17, I honestly think a lot of people would be a lot more disappointed than they think. Because Heartland in the past, you know, three seasons, has changed a lot. You know, they, they've moved on from Amy and Ty's story and started developing, you know, the younger generation of characters, um, you know, in season 14, 15, and 16, and hopefully 17 as well. But they've started developing, you know, especially in season 16, Katie's character, Logan's character. They've even started giving Lindy more character development in season 16 specifically. And I honestly think that if Ty was to come back from the dead in season 17, it would feel a lot different than people would expect and are expecting that they would feel. I think it would feel odd and out of place because it'd be like the family moved on. Yes, you never... I understand the argument that you never really move on when you lose a family member, but in a sense you do and in a sense you don't. You don't you don't move on in the sense that you never forget that the person existed. You never stop missing them. You never stop, you know, um, talking about memories or thinking about um, things that happened with them, but you move on in a sense that you learn to live with it. You go on in your life. You 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 just you you continue living life just because someone dies doesn't mean everyone else that knew them family included stop living their own life yes you grieve and yes you're upset and yes it's heartbreaking but eventually you know time heals heals all wounds and that's a really i, I hate even saying that cuz you know it's so like cliche I think but um it's true and honestly I think that if Heartland was to bring back Ty in season 17 you know yes you would probably be really excited at first but then after a while you'd be like you don't belong here anymore um you know so much has happened in the past three seasons with Amy's character development and you know the rest of the Heartland family that you know, they all moved on. And if Ty was to come back now, it'd be like, why? What was the point? Like, it would honestly undo a lot of Amy's character development and it would feel really odd and out of place. So that's why I think that, you know, even though people keep speculating and keep saying that they miss, you know, Ty and here's how they could bring him back, I honestly think they'd be really disappointed um, about his return, and it would feel really odd and out of place. But anyway, that is just my own thoughts and opinions. That is all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.